Member, but our CEO and Executive Director is Dan Grabowskis. At this time, I'd like to um, invite public testimony. We've got three um, people who signed up to provide public testimony. The first is um, Tom Berg. Tom Berg, can you please come forward? State your name for the record and present your testimony, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tom Berg, and uh, I'm here to assist you. And again, I keep filming myself because you have yet to respond to anything I say to you in writing, in person. Heart goes to neighborhood board meetings, and the mayor exclaimed that they've answered every question. You've answered none of mine, and I'm very frustrated with all of you. Why you're ignoring some very important subject matters. I went to the city council hearing yesterday, and they're discussing a resolution regarding the city council member's trip to D.C. Teresa McMillan with the FTA administrator, Angela Gates also in communication with KITV Andrew Pereira. The information is, is that you have good news. You can get out of this FFGA because it says throughout that at any point in time if it was mischaracterized either by the grantee and or the FTA, it's cause of its termination. Now I gave you and sent you over and over and over and have come here testified over and over and I gave you a two minute clip of Councilmember Anderson in 2011 giving false information to the public to sway a vote. And that was to let the public choose an alternative steel wheel, must be rail, no BRT, and no change of level of service. Now in 2011, Councilmember Anderson told the public, you cannot have a, another reading. They killed it on first reading by a vote to eight to one because the comment made was, in the year 2011, a mandatory $200 million penalty would be assessed if the public voted on this ever again, that we were locked in in 2008. Well, Teresa McMillan in the report from the council members says that's not true. So you now can do 15 stations if you want, 15 miles if you want. You don't have to tax us. You can now implement a letter to the FTA today you have all the documentation in my testimonials before the state legislature and city hall and to you directly. I've given you the evidence of 110% clear that this FFGA has been misrepresented to the people. So you can take action today and I'm still waiting for an answer. When did the Federal Transit Administration say we the grantee of which there's a mandatory penalty of returning every penny you thus far received if you change the technology from one rail system to another, what date did that happen? What milestone took place? Because again, you guys can get out of this. You don't have to tax us. Mr. Burke, Mr. Burke, Mr. Burke, and, and I'm closing, I'm closing, and finally. Mr. Chairman, I've met with the Federal Transit Administration, who is our federal overseer on Honolulu's mass transit project in Washington, D.C., a number of times. I've asked the question of the FTA that if for some reason this body should place on the 2012 general election ballot a question regarding Honolulu's mass transit project and if that question should 
be in conflict with the 2008 ballot question regarding steel on steel that passed, could we perhaps be in jeopardy of the federal government requiring Honolulu to reimburse the upwards of $200 million that the federal government has given us thus far for our project? The answer from the FTA was yes. They would come back to Honolulu and they would require us to repay every cent that they have given us thus far for this project. Mr. Chairman, that's a grave concern for me. And that's not a hypothetical, Mr. Chairman. That's a definitive. The federal government has assured me that if in fact the charter amendment like this passes, they will indeed come back and require us to repay them. That's not an assumption, it's a fact. It came from the FTA themselves. In light of that fact, Mr. Chairman, I am unable to support this particular measure moving forward at this time. I, I think the implications are great. I believe that it's a certainty that the federal government will in fact require Honolulu and our taxpayers to reimburse them for the federal monies that have been expended on our project thus far. And Mr. Chairman, those consequences will be dire to the people of the city and county of Honolulu. Therefore, uh, Mr. Chairman, I will not be able to support this going forward at this time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Vice Chair.